God says, a lot of times we allow what we are, hoping for rob us from thanking God for the blessings around us. This message is a reminder to you. Be grateful in advance for all of your silent prayers and requests, because a heart of gratitude is a magnet for God's blessings. Dear child, you have been struggling for years. So many and answer questions. But know that everything trying to stop you is temporary. The pain will stop, the tears will stop. Things will change in your favor, no matter what your life looks like. Right now and no matter what you have gone through or currently going through, just like a seed buried you were sprout with good fruits, in your darkest days when the enemy and markers think it's all over for you, Give thanks to God at all times instead of giving in to fear and complaints. I know sometimes these things are easier said than done, especially when it is taking forever for things to fall in place. God will showcase your life as a proof of his glory. Your sun will never said your moon will not go down, for the Lord will be your everlasting light your days of mourning. Every chain holding you back is broken, and you are redeemed from curses. The light of God shines brightly through you. Even when bad things happen to you, God will use it to your advantage. He will use them to bring you to a good place. You are going to see that what God promised you will come to pass, and in the end everything will make sense. I would like to share with you what I never do even when there is a delay in my request. One thing I never do is panic. Whatever happens is God's plan. Anything I don't have isn't mine to get. Anything I lose is for a purpose. I always remember the story of the prodigal son whenever it seems like I want something desperately. But God isn't listening. We may think it's right for us. But God says the future. I have learned to say, Lord, let your will be done, I am sure. There are some other spirits at work in my life. The things that I wish to do, I do not always find myself doing. But the things which I hate to do, I fall back into them time and again. Today I arise in holy anger without most hater for the evil that is going on in my life, and I confess to you, Satan, that I hate you. And I hate everything that comes with you, lies lost sexual immoralities and faithfulness pride and all your accommodation in this body is expired your manipulations are over i command you in the name that is above every other name to hear the word of the lord god almighty is the temple of the living god a dwelling place for the holy spirit i have no room for you in my life so i renounce you in the name of jesus ties no more will I hear strange voices from you. No more will I receive demonic visions from you. My heart is guarded by the word of God. You have no right to afflict me with ungodly images and sinful thoughts. I break out of your snare, and I come under the authority and government of my Lord Jesus. You have helped me captive long enough. I am no slave to you because my Ellen, Jones is with the Lord of hosts. You by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of my testimony, in the name of Jesus, thank you. God is saying to you today, I will replace your anger and bitterness with joy and laughter. I am moving you from where you are to the next level. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. God is saying to you at the end of this month, you will be congratulated. God bless you.